As we have discussed, knowledge areas of data science include statistics, computer science, design, and social sciences. In this lecture, we discuss basic computer science concepts, specifically how to solve problems programmatically. One of the goals of computer science is solving problems with algorithms and translating them into programs. So let's cover a frequently used problem solving proce process in computer science and data science. Software engineers and data science use many different process frameworks, such as waterfall, systems development lifecycle, agile, and scrum. While there are lots of differences between these process frameworks, they all include three basic steps. Step one, problem analysis. Step two, program design. Step three, program coding. Step one, problem analysis. The purpose of this steps is, step is to describe in detail a solution to the problem by gathering the needed information for the problem. How do you do it? First, understand and study the problem. Identify the input to the problem the expected output and the relevant processing task, for example, a scientific or mathematical formula. You can use an IPO chart to facilitate this exercise. An IPO chart is a three column table to document what you know or what you don't know about the input about the processing task and about the output, the expected output of the problem. So let's go over an example. Write a program that get three salaries as an input from employees. Find the average salary and display each salary as, an, as the average. So take a sheet of paper stop the video for a minute and write down an IPO shot. Write down what you know about the input, about the output, and what you think are the expected processing tasks. All right, I hope you figured it out. Your solution probably looks something like this. As an input, we have the three numbers. As an output, we have the same three numbers and the average as a result. And the processing tasks include importing the numbers, adding the numbers together, dividing the total of the numbers by three, and print the result. Moving on to step two, the program design. Step two defines the framework of the flow of the problem solution. As part of this step, you define the algorithm in preparation for the following coding. An algorithm is a sequence of precise instructions that leads to a solution. A program is an algorithm expressed in a language that the computer can understand. Popular tools to develop an algorithm include flowcharts, which, is a graphically, which graphically outlines the logical steps to carry out a, the task and shows how these steps relate to each other. Another popular tool to develop algorithms are pseudocode. Pseudocode outlines the steps in a problem uh, written in a mix of programming code and human language. For example, some people use a mix of C++ and English-like phrases. Step three is a programming coding. Programming coding means writing the solution into a specific programming language. Popular programming languages in data science include Python, R, Java, and MySQL. R and Python are very popular with beginners because they are very easy to learn in contrast to Java, which has a pretty steep learning curve. R and Python also have like lots of similarities in syntax and approach. So you can't go wrong with either one or even 
learn both. MySQL is an open source relational database management system. So it's not really a programming language, but it's still frequently used in data science projects. SAS, MATLAB and SPSS are software packages which are very pop popular in the corporate world for data analysis projects. However, they're relatively expensive. So a potential solution for our problem, for our example that we discussed, could look something like this in Python. Python, again, has the advantage it's relatively easy to learn and very comprehensive for beginners. So let's recap what we learned in this lecture. Problem solving in computer science includes analysis, design, and coding. Programmers use tools such as IPO charts, pseudocode, and flowcharts to help them analyze a problem and develop an algorithm. During the analysis, determine what is the input and the output, and then write the steps that will transform the input into an output. For data science, prob for data science problems, R and Python are the most popular coding languages because they are very easy to learn. If you want to familiarize yourself with those languages, I strongly encourage you to take a look at uh, uh, the plethora of online tutorials on Udemy, YouTube or Coursera.